don't you want people to not get hurt? Why do you like? I just I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, so almost everything in crypto is trash. Almost. It's it's insane. Do you trust hardware wallets? Uh, let's see. Ledger lost everyone's data. They are now getting fake Ledger devices sent to their homes. One of the a hexagon in our community, uh, he got a fake Ledger device delivered to his house to try and steal all his crypto. That ain't good. So there's people out there that let you get robbed and don't do anything to stop it. Let me give you an example. Alex Saunders has a paid group. Wrecked Pleb, lost all his money trading, stole and embezzled a ton of money from his users to try and make up for that trading, took the user's money and sent it right to the margin trading exchange, not even hiding it. Owes everybody money. I am the one that had to tell the truth about him because everyone else was scared too. I am the reason that he stopped scamming people. Me. I shut that scammer down. Which is funny because he appeared on my show claiming that he wanted to shut a scammer down. But there was only one scammer on the show. Him. Another example. Oh man, what was it? So everyone was losing money to this guy. No one's saying a word about it. Tons of people can't withdraw their money from Binance. No one's saying a word about it. Someone's got to call this trash out. There's some other failure thing that, that I made popular to save people. Oh, Ledger. Ledger. Okay. I see pictures of Hex and Paul Smale directly mailed to people. And at the bottom of one of the mail pieces, it says, Beware. There are fake hardware wallets being sent to people to try and steal all your money. So apparently, somewhere in the world, someone out of the kindness of their heart included a warning, which from what I've heard, from what I've heard, is a very expensive envelope, very expensive paper, first class postage. None of those are, things are cheap, apparently. Someone went out of their effort to waste copy space trying to save other people from being doomed. Did the ledger company that profited off their users send mail to their users to warn them that they lost their database and that there would be fake devices arriving to steal everything they worked so hard for? Did the ledger company do that? No, they didn't. But who did? Apparently somebody that likes Hex and somebody that likes Pulse. And does that make the world a better place? I would think that it, it does, yes. As a matter of fact, I think being educated, I wish that in 2009, I received a letter about Bitcoin instead of getting it in 2011. I wish that someone had made a compelling case for Ethereum back when it launched, but they didn't. As a matter of fact, I didn't even find out Ethereum launched until they were about to pass up Bitcoin's market cap. And I was a smart guy and I read Reddit all the time, but you know what Reddit is? Censored. So when you go to the Bitcoin subreddit, you're never going to find out about any other technology that's coming up because they isolate you from it. Now, in a world full of scams, that's good. But in a world where there are things actually making a difference and making the world a better place, it's bad. So, but, but everything's backwards world, right? So people receive a letter that could solve medical problems. They receive a letter that shows them opportunity that they've been hidden from them, from everybody. You want to advertise a cryptocurrency on Google? They won't let you. You want to advertise on Facebook? They won't let you. You want to advertise on Reddit? They won't let you. Well, what is this? What are we uh, creating child slaves here? What, I don't get it. Sports books can advertise. Margin trading exchanges can advertise. Loot crate games where kids get addicted and lose all their parents' money on the credit card can advertise. But the world's best performing asset that has ever existed that removes counterparty risk that stops the government from stealing your money through inflation, that can't advertise? Wow. So you can't, can't advertise open source software? Crazy. Okay.
But you know who has no problem getting views? The scam bots. Scam bots always have lots of views. Always have some fake thing going. My comments are filled with 90% fake copies of me, 1% real me. Spammers aren't having any problem. Real content creators are having a problem. It's crazy. <clears throat> NFTs. God. Ugh. Hey guys, you like